<laughs> Welcome to Inspired by Nikki. <laughs> uh, you're all, you guys are probably wondering why I'm on the ground. Sometimes you have to visualize the work before you do it. Do you like how that turned out? Yeah. Especially the second time when I put it in the right spot. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode in our Fixer Upper series. Today we are working on our room and right now the, the, uh, our bedroom is out in the living room as you can see. Um, but Jorge has been working away. He's doing something that I did not think that he would do which is put two windows in there on either side of the bed that I'm really looking forward to. It's a design that I really wanted, but he, at first he was telling me it wasn't gonna happen. So he surprised me in getting the windows and starting to work on that. So I'm going to take you in there and show you what kind of things have gone on so far. Brad has also been helping. He helped him frame out the closet. And we're probably going to be changing the location of the, um, door for going into the bathroom area. I'm not completely sure about all that yet, um, but for now, I just really wanted to get our room done and the closet done. It'll be so nice to have a closet. For now, he has this window done, and um, he's working on the other window, which will be over on this side, and taking out the window that was previously there, right now, here. That is the laundry room right there. So just walking in, there was this wall that kind of stuck out right here. It's like a little mini hallway, and um, I wanted the closet to be just even. So when you come in, the wall would just kind of continue around like that. And so that is how he framed it out. And this is about the size right here. This is not going to stay there, but I wanted um, a rack so that for when I do some of the videos that I'm going to be doing, I, I have a nice space to put those items on. And uh, yeah, so to me, this is the perfect size for us. I'm not really big into like huge walk-in closets just because it's, I don't know, I feel it's like a little unnecessary for the amount of clothing that we have and how much I like to keep in um, just displayed at one time. So as you can see, lots of progress going on. Um, I'm happy with the way that things are, you know, progressing. Um, Jorge got this flooring done right here. I'm trying to think if, if I even shared this. I don't think I did. Okay, so Jorge got the flooring done in the laundry room. He fixed the um, the wall and everything like that. So now it's just about getting the room done. And then I just feel like once the room is done, then, you know, I'll just be able to rest easy is the way that I feel about it because everything still kind of feels like it's just, you know, moving things from one spot to another spot to another spot. And I just want to be able to go and do some other things. So today the kids got the day off of school and so um, we kind of just slept in late. I went over to my Grammy's house later today to, um, you know, do the pool stuff. I brought Ivan with me so he can help me. I actually taught him how to do some of the stuff over there that way. It gives him a little bit of a job to do as well. So. Um, we just went over there, visited with her for a bit. My mom was over there at that time and now I'm just home. I have a couple of things that I wanted to do for, um, like video related, but I've just been, you know, doing little chores here and there to kind of 
stay on top of things and I'm just enjoying the fact that I can open the doors. It's a beautiful day. There's a nice, simple, you know, very light breeze. And tomorrow, my brother and I are going to be going out to the dry lake bed to shoot the video for this coming In Your Words video. So, um, we went scouting yesterday out there and, you know, kind of started writing out different things that what we wanted to do the whole storyboard thing and um i'm feeling good about the way that that video will turn out and i'm looking forward to sharing that one but in the meantime i have other things that i need to concentrate on so um yeah just trying to keep things as picked up as possible but not spending too much time on it just because i know that you know things are going to be changing again so anyway it's just nice to sit here I have the door open I'm watching the hummingbird drink out of the feeder and you know it's just kind of been a quiet day I'm trying to um, I would like for us to take a break to go go out go do something together so um, I just think that will be nice a nice change of scenery is in order I think and tonight I'm going to be going to the hospital to uh, take my shift for watching my grandfather. So um, that starts at six o'clock, six to 10. And then um, I figure, you know, if I could get some stuff done before I have to go there, then I'll be able to sit there and when he's sleeping and stuff, I'll be able to work on the work there as far as editing goes. So um, other than that though, not much else going on which I kind of like it that way I don't like when we're doing projects and stuff it's really hard to think about anything else or do other things just because all of my all of my brain power is in that and um, I am trying to come up with other concepts for different videos this coming week however I'm not quite there yet and now that the kids are home um, you know just having that noise and stuff it, it does make it more difficult for me I'm more of a person that has to be in silence before I can really you know gain a lot of creativity in that regard all right so today's Saturday and Jorge has been working away as I went to go shoot a video for the in your words this time for um, Jennifer L Scott is the one who wrote and um, we we had to go out there at six this morning we went out to a dry lake bed and um, we got some really some wonderful footage out there i am so excited to go through the footage and start putting it all together yes if you're part of patreon then you get to see all of the behind the scenes footage that my mom takes usually she's she's kind of the sidekick that comes along and and you know films a little bit of the behind the scenes for us so i'm thankful that she does that but she really enjoys coming with us and um just you know watching us work and come up with different ideas for things and i don't know this time it was it was so fun and um every time it's fun it's i enjoy working with my brother but um just the whole creative process of it now let's go in and see the progress on our bed. He made sure to clean up his mess that was back here. I didn't show the before, but it was really bad. Welcome to Inspired by Mickey. On today's episode, we're back at it again. Getting it done. I have to do some work in here. Lots and lots of work. So you can see Brad is absent. <laughs> he's busy doing other things like having grandchildren <laughs> very selfish of him not to be here <sighs> you've seen one baby you've seen them all right? <laughs> they don't even do anything when they're first born they just drool and eat they need to be changed you don't want any part of that anyways this is where we're at the windows are in. I have to fix some plug situations. And then it's drywall, then it's corner bead, 
Then it's mud, texture, sanding, painting. Then I have to trim the windows because no, windows aren't good enough alone. They gotta be trimmed. Then it's, then after you think you're done, no, now you gotta put closet organizers. Now you gotta put chandeliers in the closet. I'm sick of that. I didn't wanna talk about it. Curl up. <laughs> Send a donation cry? so we can hire some help. <laughs> Subscribe to Patreon. <laughs> so we can hire so we some can help. we can do family vlogs instead of work vlogs. <laughs> I've worked enough. You are almost done. This is the finish line. Get up. You. Dust your knees this off. Is, uh, this is at my Grammy's house, you know, just doing the normal pool situation deal that I've been doing to take care of that. And um, when I walked outside of her, of her doors, her back doors, I heard a, a bird in the trees and it was unlike any other sound I had heard before. So um, anyway, um, at least outside. And so I was trying to figure out where that was coming from and I realized it was coming from the um, palm tree that is overlooking her pool so I went to turn on the filter and then I came back over and I'm looking at it and I see an orange head and so I walked much closer to um, the uh, the tree the palm tree and it's a parrot is looking at me and um, just oh gosh okay needless to say I've acquired a parrot <laughs> and he's causing so much commotion here. Oh my gosh, this has been the best day of my life. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's just been really crazy that um, everything's happened the way it has. Although I think my mom found the owners, so this is not gonna last very long, but it has just been, such a bright spot in my day and he really took to me anyway I saw him in the tree and all of a sudden he just flew at me and um, you know landed on the ground by my feet and I'm just thinking it was really weird and she has those two dogs so of course I was nervous right away that um, the dogs were gonna get it so I put my finger down there by it and it just he just hopped up on my finger like this and so he has really not wanted to leave my side he starts squawking if I walk away from him but yes he's been all over me while I do the dishes although I haven't finished the dishes I've just been in awe I've been in awe today I've I've loved every second of having him he he's been walking all over me getting in my hair, messing it up. I, I fixed it since, but um, I had it some up, some down, and then he made a real a real uh, nest out of my hair up there. But it felt nice because it was like he was scratching my head. And anyway, when I was doing dishes over here, he was sitting on my shoulder. Wanna go up on my shoulder? Let's see if he'll go up there. And, um, Anyway, he was sitting up here and then every time I turned the water on he would get down by my hand and so um, He took a drink out of the water, you know that was flowing and then he wanted to bathe himself so he got all wet and Kept putting his head under there and he's just been so cute so funny. He's definitely oh, where are you going? Definitely a domesticated bird this one but I've I've been loving him and I think that he loves me and I'm gonna be so sad that I have to give him to whoever, whoever the owner is because I want him.
<laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna say goodbye. But I know that if, if it was my bird, obviously, and it got away, I'd want some, you know, some person to be respectful enough and, and um, you know, just have that understanding that you want your bird back. So anyway, but I want him. So, so yes, this is what I was wearing, this blue dress. And as I told my mom, I really felt like I was channeling my inner Cinderella as the bird just, as he flew to me, I just felt like, you know, here come the birds. It was, it was so beautiful. So beautiful. What do you think? And I know I have not named him because I thought he's someone's, he's someone's bird. What do you think? Let me get a real, real colors here. What do you think? <laughs> He's looking, he doesn't know what to think right now. Oh, He's so pretty, oh my gosh. This is hard, you guys, so hard. Anyway, I just wanted to jump on here really fast just to share with you this amazing thing that happened today and it was so lovely. I've just been taking it all in. Mom's been asking me if I've been recording and all of that. No, this is the first time I've took out took out the camera to record for myself, but um, I did call Jorge. I called my mom. You know, I showed Grammy, and the bird does not like Grammy very much. It didn't want to get on her finger or want her to touch it, so I guess they really take to an individual. Um, but I hope I hope it likes my mom. Anyway, this may be something in the future because sometimes I think it's like you never know what you're missing. <laughs> I didn't know I'm missing a bird, but obviously I would really like to have a bird around me. Right? So anyway, my mom had some chicken scratch in the garage and it's been loving that stuff. So that's what it's been eating and then it drinks and it loves to be in my hair. All right, so just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful Monday. I'm trying to get some work done, kind of hard, but yeah.